We'll start with your morning vitamins, and then you have your evening vitamins. Now including this great tea, and it's gonna go really well with your midnight honey, and we'll go over that. You've got your pulse oximeter, you've got your iodine rinse, your Listerine coolant, and then some liquid IV packets just in case you're having a hard time staying hydrated. The syringe comes with a kit and it'll go with iodine nasal rinse, and I'll actually show you how to do a nasal rinse in just a moment. This kit is based off of the FLCCC IMAS Plus Prevention and Early Treatment Protocol for COVID-19. So these are all of the supplements that you can get over the counter. When you get your kit, you'll have a little summary page, okay? First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go back to the website and then look at that COVID-19 Symptom Tracker Journal. It has the instructions in it and it has some education and resources that are great for you to just look over and learn from. I also have included my cell phone on here, so if you have any questions or concerns, please call me. I am happy to talk to you, talk you through it. If you're getting scared or if you just have questions and you don't know what to do, feel free to call me. On the back of this, all of the kits are custom, so based on your weight, and that's why I'll ask for your weight on the website when you place your order, I will tell you how many tablespoons you need to take daily, okay? And that's for the Midnight Honey. And then there's just a summary of the other things that you'll be wanting to do if you get sick, and we'll go over some of this in detail. Okay, so let's talk about this Midnight Honey and this turmeric tea. Okay, so I want to show you what you're going to get in your kit. It's based off of your weight, so you might get a different uh, combination, um, but you'll have one or two jars, depending on the size jar that we have and depending on how much you need for a seven-day course. The thing is, I'm putting in enough for seven days. According to the protocol, you actually can take it for 14 days, and then you can actually take it beyond that. So. Um, it's great. It's so healthy. Nigella sativa and honey is an amazing combination and you're going to find out more about that uh, when I do the educational piece. But so we're going to have your, you have your kit, you're going to open it up and what you're going to find is that, let's take that off. See that? So let me get this out of the way. You're going to want to take a knife or a spoon and you really want to mix it up and make sure all the seeds are well mixed and evenly distributed before you measure out the amount you need. Okay? So you can actually see when you look at it why we call it midnight honey. Because it looks like darkness. But once it's mixed up nicely, what you want to do Is you just get your tablespoon out and for me I'm gonna go ahead and do four now for a small cup of water like this I would actually recommend that you take this in multiple cups because it would be really sweet if you just did this much water so what I'll find I find myself doing is I'll add more water to um, so that it's not quite as sweet if you have a Yeti or a cup like this, actually it's ideal. Just fill that up with uh, all the water that you'll need for the day and make your cup of tea. It'll stay hot that way. It'll be diluted and you'll be able to tolerate it a little bit better. But then you just take your honey and Two. Might make a mess. That's okay. Okay. 
your tea bag here. Add it in, get your spoon. Just let that steep for a while. The honey and the nigella seeds, the seeds are there. And you will have to drink them. Some people don't mind the texture, some people don't like the texture, but you got to take your medicine. And what they found with the research, they did a research study out of Pakistan, and they found that the group that actually used the black cumin seed and honey did better than the group that did ivermectin. So that's exciting. So then we just let this steep for a little while. And then you have your tea. Just want to show you how things are going. Steeping. Now I'm going to taste this and see how it tastes. It's good. <laughs> I like it. And now, Nigella sativa is not a flavor that Americans are accustomed to. And I have tasted it by itself. It's not very good to me in the beginning. Now I've taken it enough times where I'm, I'm getting used to the flavor. Another way that you can take it is with the oil and I usually will take a teaspoon of the oil. Still not a good thing so I'll chase it with something else. Um, I do have the vitamins so if people can't tolerate the flavor at all they can just take the vitamins where it's already encapsulated. But to be honest with you and this is why I started including this tea, this turmeric tea along with the nigella sativa and honey is actually really good. I, so my son hates this. He hates taking the black cumin seed oil. But the other night I made some of this and I said, just taste it. And he's smelling it. And he was just wanting to make sure that it didn't have the oil in it. He went ahead and he tasted it and he actually drank a lot. And he said, if you make this every night, I'll drink it. So that's saying something because he, we had to fight with him to get him to take it. He hated it, but it's really, really good for you. So I'm happy that he'll take it now. Okay, so ne next let's talk about the nasal rinse. So this is the 1% iodine solution and the syringe. I'm going to show you how to do that. So first just open up your syringe and this is a 3cc syringe. There's a cap on it, take the cap off. Here is your 1% iodine. What you do is just open that up and draw up three cc's just pull back we're going to do one nostril at a time okay so all you do is you want to tilt your head downward and you want it to go into your nose and the goal is to basically think of it like a water hose and you want to just rinse out all of the tissue that's in there that might be infected with the COVID so you just tilt your head down over your sink and then go ahead and just squirt it in there And then you get some more and do the other side. Just tilt your head to the other side and just try and make sure you get it all in the back. And just keep doing that until you know, a couple times. Do that a couple times. Now, according to the LCCC protocol, you only have to put a few drops in, but. <laughs> I like to just really make sure I've gotten all the tissues back there, all coated in iodine. Okay, and just get a tissue. Pull it off your nose. That's it. Okay, so now let's talk about the gargle. You're gonna to wanna to do this just as frequently as you're doing the iodine nasal rinse. 
And the goal is to kill the virus that's in the back of your throat. Okay, so we're going to do a gargle. Everybody knows how to gargle, but just in case you don't, let's go ahead and show you. Just open up your Listerine Cool Mint. Take a swig. That's it. I just killed all that COVID that was in my throat. Okay, so we also have the pulse oximeter. So in case you've never worn one before, I'm just going to show you what to do. So you got your box. Go ahead and open it up. We've got your user manual. We'll set that aside. We've got our certificate. Go. Got your batteries. Let's see if I can get these batteries open. So you've got your two batteries. You're going to go ahead and open it up from the back. You put your batteries in. Let's see. This one goes here. And this one. Close it back up. Okay. Then you have this little button right here, you push it on. You let it cycle, and then you go ahead and you take this part and you just pinch it, and that opens it up. See? And then you just slip your index finger in here. You want to have warm hands. So one of the things, oops, I turned it off. So let me take it out. I'm going to warm my hands up because they are actually cold. And if your hands are cold, you're not going to get an accurate reading. Okay, so warm those hands up. And then go ahead and clip it onto your finger. And we'll see what the reading is. So right now I'm reading at 97, started at 97, now we're at 98. And you see this down here, this is your pulse rate. It says PR and it says BPM, that's beats per minute. So right now my heart is beating at 102. That is kind of fast. Now it's 103. And look at my oxygen, it's 96, 97. Should be 100. Let's see if we can get it up to 100. Watch me. I'm going to take in. Now, my hands are so cold. My fingers are actually very cold. But let me see if I take some deep breaths, if that'll go up. Got it to 98. Hey, and I even got my beats per minute to go down. 99, that's good. And I'm just taking slow, deep breaths. And I'm also hoping that my cold fingers will finally warm up. Another finger that you can also try is your middle finger. So either your index finger or your middle finger. And let's see what that reading is. Now, the camera can't... Hey, okay, so let's talk about the, the AM vitamins. Okay, I'm gonna open this pack up and just show you what you're gonna get. So what you'll do is just go ahead and open it up. And you'll pick out a packet right here, okay? And really, what you there's enough for 14 days, right? So you would have dumped it all out. There you go. Got all your vitamins. Sometimes you'll be able to see through the, the packaging. Sometimes you won't. Eh, don't worry about that. It's just the packaging I had available. But, so what we'll do is show you 
what comes in this kit. So let me open this one up so you can see it. Just tear it open. And I'm going to use this tray because this table you probably won't be able to see it unless I do. So there you have it. Okay. You've got your vitamin C. You've got your vitamin D. You've got your quercetin. You've got your zinc. And you've got your NAC. And that's your morning dose. Okay, let's talk about the nighttime. So you have your PM kit. Okay, so let's go through the contents of PM because it's slightly different than your mornings. So what you're going to find when you open up your evening bag is that some of these are just all black, right? And some of these actually have week two on them. Okay, so the week two, you're going to start on day eight. And we'll talk about why in just a second. But let me just show you what is in week one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this one and pour out the contents for you. All right, so day one through seven, you're going to be taking vitamin C. Let's flip that over. And then you're going to be taking melatonin. This is a total of six milligrams. And that's for day one through seven. Then, for days 8 through 14, the ones that say week 2, when you open those, you're going to see there's a slight difference in what you're getting. There we go. So we've added a few horse pills in here. Just kidding, they're not actually horse pills. But we did add some omega-3 fish oil and we add some curcumin and turmeric. These are to decrease inflammation. So you'll continue to take the melatonin, six milligrams, and you'll also be taking your vitamin C, but now we've added on these for inflammation because from day eight to day 14, that's really the struggle that we're trying to, to beat. Okay, so the last thing that I just wanted to tell you about is this liquid IV. So you'll have a couple of different flavors and these are just samples. The goal is to make sure that you're staying hydrated. So some people are having a hard time eating, they feel nauseous, they just don't feel well and they don't want to eat or drink, but it's so important that you stay hydrated. So we've included some liquid IV to make sure that you stay hydrated and get you some electrolytes. And so this is just a pack and you will go ahead and the instructions are on there and it says take and add 16 ounces of water to it. And you'll do that and drink on that and Hopefully it'll keep you well.